be joined by a medical research re researcher with details on the new COVID strain and who's most vulnerable. Well, a new, more contagious strain of COVID-19, you probably heard the news about it originating in the UK, has since been reported here in the U.S. And joining us now with details on that strain is medical researcher and cardiologist Dr. Ernest Ernst von Schwartz. So, you know, Dr. von Schwartz, this is obviously very concerning to those of us who have been doing all that we can to avoid um, having any situations as it pertains to the COVID-19. Um, virus. So let's talk a little bit about these mutations. This isn't something that's uncommon when it comes to viruses, right? Not at all, Crystal. I mean, a virus is expected to mutate in order to increase its uh, existence, basically, and viability. So that is something which is expected. And, and even the vaccine makers, whether it's BioNTech, Pfizer, or Moderna, they ex did expect mutations when they developed their messenger RNA vaccines. So it's not only one. So you, you mentioned the UK variant, which is called B117. Um, that variant has been detected now in 72 people in the United States. It was first uh, detected in the UK. There's a second variant from South Africa, which now has been detected in 12 countries in Europe, not in the US now. And we just heard a few days ago of a third variant from Japan, um, which uh, obviously was imported from people who visited Brazil, has not been detected in the U in the U.S. so far either. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, there's something which we just heard also a few days ago of the so-called escape mutant with the name of E48K, um, which obviously is able even to uh, neutralize certain antibodies that's currently investigated Besides a few other mutants, um, Ohio researchers, for example, mentioned another variant this morning. So there's everyday new news about mutations, mainly um, which alters the genetic code, and that affects the spike protein of the virus, which then enables the virus to enter healthy cells much more easier. And that leads to much higher transmissibility, so more people can get the virus. Not yeah. more disease, not more severe disease, but more people can, can get infected. And to that point, that's a great segue. Um, we know it's more infectious. That's, that's what we've you know, learned. But at the same time, not necessarily more deadly. And you know, there are some new reports that state, and is there any truth to this, that children may be more vulnerable for this particular, these newer strains? There, there's some some early data on that because of the much higher 70% higher transmissibility, meaning that mutant uh, and, and the others are much more contagious than the current ones. So it's uh, very likely that children and and even healthy adults um, will uh, get it, the virus, but it doesn't mean automatically that they will get the disease or any severe disease because the severity of the disease of the mutant so far is not more severe than of what we have been dealing with now. Well, and of course, you know, the hope in this is the vaccines will continue to roll out and the vaccinations will actually happen more quickly um, as we try to move toward herd immunity with regard to this pandemic. So, doctor, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. I wish we had more. We can go into this a little more depth, but we'll definitely in more in depth, I should say, but we'll definitely bring you back.